Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome back and if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Nips, a freelance artist. And today we're gonna be working on some doodles that I did over on stream. Let me start off with the materials because I'll try to cover them as best as possible so you guys can go ahead and take a look yourselves. I do have an Amazon shop link below if you guys want to check out. Most of the materials that I use are on there and if you buy them with my Amazon link, of course I get some commission, so that's very helpful as well. Starting off with my pencil tools, I use the Graph Gear 1000 the Pentel one in 0.9, keeping the lead big just to avoid adding too many details, and the Professional Drawing 2004 Casimir pencil, kind of swapping back and forth between lead pencil and just traditional pencil. And then I have this like soft kind of crayonish pencil, Conte à Paris. <laughs> Pierre Noir. I don't remember where I got this, but it's definitely very nice. It's 3B 1710. I'm not sure what brand this is, but it's there. Then I have my Faber Castell color pencils, which are just, I absolutely love the Faber Castell color pencils. I have them in a lot of colors. So these are the ones that I use for today. So then we come in with my pen. This is a pen that I swear by. It's a pilot pen high tech C in 0.3. It's super, super thin, but the ink comes out so beautifully. Then my go-to mono eraser, really, really small for fixing small areas. My blending stamp, it's been kind of used. I like using the bigger ones for my sketches. And then I use the Faber-Castell Need, Netted, Nettable, Needable <laughs> art eraser to make things a little bit lighter so that, um, it's easier to go over and layer things. Again, the link for all these materials will be down below in my Amazon shop, so check them out if you guys like. And yeah, let's get right into the speed paint. I'm drawing here on a dotted paper sketchbook, which I got from one of my friends. I'll go ahead and put her link down below. I know a lot of people commented asking about the usefulness of the dots. I always get this question every time I draw on dotted paper and I just like how it looks. I think it just adds a really nice flair to my sketches, but I know that there is some usefulness. Um, for example, when I do some perspective studies, sometimes it helps. When I draw some shapes, I know people like to graph with it as well. So it really depends on how you use it and what you like to use it for. I just like the aesthetic, so that's pretty much why I use it. Here I am drawing my characters Yotaro and Diego. I hadn't done a traditional stream in a very long time, so I am very, very rusty. I wanted to just kind of get on stream and create some fun doodles and drawings, and I would draw the first thing that came to mind. And so a lot of the times I have trouble kind of coming up with poses and being confident enough to execute them. And to me, the easiest way to do them is to just use one tool. The fewer the tools, the better, because then I have less room to think. That's why a lot of these, a lot of my sketches in my books are just straight pencil, maybe the blending stick and maybe some color pencil and stuff. So you'll see here that I start with some light lines and then I'll just make them darker as I go on to finalize. This is my character Jet. You'll see me struggling here with the planes of the face. Like I said, this is something I've been really trying to work on. My brain just is so used to doing certain things on autopilot that unlearning them has been quite difficult, but very rewarding at the same time. If you have a bad habit in anything, <laughs> I definitely encourage you to keep pushing because it may seem hard, but it, it, it'll definitely be worth it. Here I go ahead and I draw her earrings at the wrong angle, but I kind of had to keep them there because 
they're already so intertwined with the lines that stays there. And so I add some some splashes of color with the color pencil, some blushes, some color to the hat, and then the dots help me out with the shapes. Like I said, some shapes in the back. So the dots helped me there for real. And it looks pretty nice even for a doodle. And so here, I remember that the color pencils exist and I start drawing my character Saskia and sometimes I will straight up just do the doodle in color pencil and then I'll go straight into this one pen that I have that is very, very thin. I think it's 0 .003 if I didn't mention it in the intro already. And it is so thin, but the ink comes out so beautifully. I was like, am I ready to go straight from color pencil to this? And I'm still rusty, so it just did not work at all. The drawing just did not look good. And it was just me adding color pencil and marker and things until I, I, could, I tried to salvage it, but it just did not work. And honestly, I just put the date, move on to the next piece. <laughs> In chat, a lot of people were suggesting Baba is You. Now on, on stream, I've occasionally played this game called Baba is You and it has, I have an obsession with like beady eyed things like Kirby, Ditto, like Toad, like things that are just like Bemo. And Baba has beady eyes like that too. They are the cutest thing. And I love puzzle games. So Baba is You is a puzzle game. I highly recommend this game. It is not only so good, but it's clever. It's cute. The aesthetics, everything about it is just so good. So there are these two characters, Baba and Kiki. And so I just drew them together, like sleeping, just fat and cute and chubby. You'll see here me using the dots again to kind of help me map out the shape in the back, which is pretty handy. You gotta make up the dots what you will. Here I'm just filling in. I had to put some an envelope behind there so that it wouldn't go through to the next page. I honestly really like how this came out. I feel like I'm not really good at drawing super cute things, but I think this one did pretty well. Somebody suggested Cuphead because Cuphead was another game that I marathoned on stream with my friends Sade and we played it. I think it was like two sittings. We did it in two days and I had never drawn Cuphead fan art. And so I thought it would be fun to just kind of doodle in some Cuphead as well. Do some fan art of all the games that I've played. And I'm so behind because there's so many games that I've recently beat and just played but haven't done any fan art of. So here I wanted to try this pencil. It looks so much better in person. It's kind of like a crayon, but not at the same time. I know there's a proper name for this. So if you know the, the actual name, you guys can tell me down below, but I always have it in there, but I don't really use it that often. And when I went in to color this, this part of the fan art, the red cup, I messed up so bad. <laughs> And so I decided to just kind of leave it there and move on to the next one. I really tried to keep these loose and pressure free. Like if I really thought that I messed it up, I would try not to linger too much trying to fix it. This really just is a sketchbook. And at the end of the day, I was just doodling. So I was really trying to keep them very loose. And if I got too frustrated, just move on to the next one and kind of keep, keep drawing, you know? Like I said, I am practicing planes and shapes and just going back to the fundamentals. So a lot of the angles that I'm doing now are pretty boring. I really liked how this one turned out. So this is uh, my character, Alvin, and they are very androgynous looking and I usually, but still very hints of like some masculine features. It was really interesting trying to really get that feel for them. That one I actually ended up coloring a little bit on the iPad after. So I'll put that one on screen if you guys want check that one out too.
this last one was one that I just wanted to try something challenging. Like I said, these doodles are, you know, pressure-free exploration zones, and I am pretty bad at drawing, like, kissing scenes. I feel like I always, like, it always works out in the end, but it shouldn't take me as long as it does. Like, you know those things where people see the finished product, and they're like, wow, you're so good at this, but it's like, when you know that you're really good at something is that it doesn't, you don't struggle that much with it. So people don't really see me struggling with certain things. They just see the finished product and then just think that I'm good at drawing that thing. So this is one of those things where like, I just am not good at drawing this, which would make sense that I'm not good at it because my planes and my shapes are pretty lacking. So yeah, so this was something that I was kind of messing with on stream, trying to find right angles. I just love doodling in pencil. I think pencil and the stump, the little blending stump is so incredibly satisfying. I just think there's something so beautiful about like shading, doing really soft shading with very high contrast, deep shadows of the pencil. And that's just something that you can't get with pen or with marker in my opinion. And so, I don't know, I just, I really like pencil, like the versatility, the range is is great. And so these are my characters, Pim and Saskia, you know, snogging. <laughs> But yeah, so that is everything that we drew on stream. And hopefully I'll have a sketchbook tour of this sketchbook in the future. I do plan on finishing it pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Like, subscribe, join the Nippy family. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all at Art by Nips, on Twitch at Onips. If you guys want to check out more streams and Teespring where I have some merch. If you guys want to check that out as well, I have the Jinx poster, which just got sent to me. So if you guys want to check that out as well, go there and I'll put all the links down below. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next video. Bye.